Hey guys, it's Faye from Face World. Welcome to this channel created for content creators. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable closed captions and live transcriptions within Zoom. This is such an important feature for us and our project called Enable Disabled. The founder, Gustavo Serafini, um, our host of the show, is interviewing a lot of people who identify themselves as people with disabilities. And in this case, with this feature built into Zoom, you don't have to download anything, any third parties at all. You're able to enable live transcriptions. This is especially helpful for people with hearing disabilities and impairments. So I'm really proud to introduce this to you guys. One thing is to keep in mind about the limitations related to live transcriptions. It is not gonna be 100% accurate because it's listening to the people who are speaking and some of that has to do with accents, for example, the clarity of um, their voices, as well as whether they're using built-in microphone versus external. So just to keep that in mind, please. And if you find this helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you check out other Zoom tutorials we have on this channel as well. Without further ado, let's get started. So first you wanna make sure you log into your own account. From here, go to account management, then account settings. Right here under meetings. You know, my trick here is because there's so many options, I just go simply search for captions such as this. As you can see, by default, my closed captions is turned off. So I'm gonna turn it on. It says this setting will enable for all groups and users. You have the option to also enable live transcription service to show transcript on the side panel in the meeting. Click on save. There's also another option to allow participants to save fully closed captions or transcripts. One option to note for future reference, a language interpretation is also an option on the same page right here. All right, let's now go back to Zoom. Let's turn on Zoom and see what happens. Now, as you can see inside my Zoom window, all of a sudden, as I hover over, you see this icon that says CC and live transcript. So let me go ahead and just click on that. The options uh, I'm presented with is number one, assign a participant to type or I will type. So here I can either assign someone to type or I can use a third party uh, closed caption service. But the last option is the one I often use, which is enable auto transcription right here. As you can see, the moment I enable this option, as I'm speaking, you can see that the transcription is right here on the screen. Then it works great. One thing to note, as mentioned previously, the accuracy is not gonna be 100% because this is auto transcription. The accuracy has a lot to do with, again, the quality of the microphone, how clearly you or that someone else is speaking, background noise, you know, dialects and accents are also part of the equation as well. So definitely give it a shot. I would say that for podcasters out there, uh, if you're interviewing someone with um, hearing impairments, it is really critical and I would say highly respectful to turn this on, even if you don't need it or isn't something that you use on a regular basis. If you like what you see on the screen so far, great, leave the default setting as is. But keep in mind that if you want the font size to change, what you can do is click on the little up arrow next to live transcript and now you can see that, again, you can hide it. You can also view full transcript, which I'll show you in a second, but also subtitle settings right here. Check it out. So I can change the font size to a lot bigger, right? And not only you can see a test here, um, but you can also see it doing it live on the screen, just like that. All right, once you close it out, another option is that you can view the full transcript like this. That is pretty cool, I gotta say. Now I have the options to show the live transcription at the bottom of the screen, as well as on the site panel. If this becomes too much, and if you're thinking, hey, let me just have the transcript on the side, then what you can do is simply hide subtitle on the screen itself, but you can still see it on the right-hand panel. At any given moment, you can also just close a full transcript like this. Last but not least, if you wanna save the transcript, all you have to do is click on this little button, lower right-hand corner, and save transcript. I'm gonna find it in the finder right here and I'll show you real quick what it looks like. It is so convenient, guys, and you don't have to pay a penny. It is all built into Zoom. So thank you so much for watching this. This is Faye from Face World Media. I absolutely love creating content like this for Zoom, for live streaming, anything that will help you as a content creator. I would like to thank today's sponsor, Restream. 
a platform anybody can use, especially for podcasters and content creators to go live on more than 30 platforms, including but not limited to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and so many more. Take a look in the description below with a special offer from FaceWorld. One thing to clarify, Zoom does integrate with both Otter and Sonics for transcription. And honestly, I love both apps and I use them regularly. However, in order to provide live captions, which means as you're having conversations with the other person or, or a group of people, uh, you need to upgrade both Sonics and Otter to an enterprise version or like a team plan. So those can get pretty pricey. Um, that's why this video is primarily focused on free option built into Zoom.